What's up guys? I hope everyone is doing well. I've got a couple of lots that came in the mail today. Hopefully this camera angle works here. Um, also, another piece of mail real quick, this Ron Artest refractor jersey. Um, I'll talk more about that on an episode, I think. But I know some people like seeing these lots, so I've got two different ones that came in. Um, so let's take a look at them. I've already pre-cut them because you don't need to see me struggling to cut something. So this one um, is definitely from a card person because it's packaged like it should be. Um, you know, there's not like cigarettes falling out of it or anything. So that's nice. Um, although I get my, my good deals from those people usually. So let's take a look here. Yes, actually you did a good job packaging. And let's see what we got. So they bookended the relics with a couple top loaders here. And guess what? I know I'm a villain. I'm going to reuse these top loaders. So I reuse everything. And I know people hate that. All right. So now hopefully, I'm yeah, sorry if that took a little while here, but let's take a look at the cards. Okay, mixture, a little mixture of stuff here. Um, so Danielle Marshall jersey, Ben Gordon rookie, which was a big deal at the time, out of 750. Uh, Mecca Okafer, who was also a big deal at the time. Ripple, Rich, uh, Richard Hamilton or Rip Hamilton. Wizards jersey. Looks like a warm up. It's more Rip Hamilton stuff. Quite a bit of Rip Hamilton stuff, actually. Uh, Lane Beer jersey. Another Rip Hamilton. So a lot of Detroit stuff in here, which I know it's gross. Rip Hamilton and Kwame Brown. Rip Hamilton again. Josh Boone jersey. Okay, so here's some of the cool stuff. These are um, some WNBA cards, and um, they're numbered to 2002. So they're rookies numbered to 2002. This one's pretty nice, Swin Cash. And at first I thought that was Tamika Catchings. It was not, but this autograph is. And um, you heard on an episode that I did with uh, Clips and Vols, um, Rittenhouse was in charge of WNBA stuff for the longest time, and that's one of their autographs. So, and actually, I can see I got another one here coming up very soon. I'm gonna set that one aside. Looks like we got some more Detroit stuff, Billups and Hamilton. So, another uh, or some more WNBA autos. Nice Tayshawn Prince. I think that set was called Inspirations. So the connection there is that him and Antoine Walker went to Kentucky. So, yeah. Rip Hamilton. Oh, AJ Price. Rip Hamilton. Here's one for the PC. Um, Travis Knight, final piece. Jersey. Pretty cool. And Mark, who's been on the show before, is tracking these and tracking the numbers on the back. So I will make sure to get that one to him. We got a Rudy Gay, Rip Hamilton, Charlie Villanueva, Mecca Okafer, Charlie Villanueva. Here we go. Tayshawn Prince, autograph. Another finals card, Kevin Ollie. Some of you might know from his coaching days as well, if you don't know him as a player. That one's definitely PC. Marcus Williams, uh, Kendra Wecker, and Rip Hamilton. <clears throat> Let me get this stack out of your way here. Stack number two. Another Tamika Catchings auto. It's very nice. We got a Ben Gordon relic. Another um, Kevin Ollie. Finals Relic, so that'll go in the PC. Some Tayshawn Prince Relics, it's Tyrus Thomas, yeah, Tyrus Thomas Auto. 
Tayshaun Prince. This is the ripped version, so that's actually part of the design. Who's this? Alan Henderson Hoosier. Yep, Alan Henderson, Charles Jenkins from the awful, a lot of blurry ink autos from this, um, from the 2011 sets, which we didn't have a lot of the auto sets from then. Big Baby, Leandro Barbosa. It's actually a sticker. Oh, look at that. It's um, very similar to the set I showed earlier, but here's the Billups. It's just not the refractor. Jason Maxiel. So a lot of Ben Wallace, Rashid, a lot of Detroit stuff. That one's 86 out of 99. Some weird looking material there on that Prince and Rashid. And that, I believe, is a Blazers piece there, even though it's a Pistons logo. So that was the first lot. Very happy with that. Um, a lot of that will go in, you know, either PC value boxes at the show. You know, I'll piece out some of the other stuff to cover the cost of the lot. That's kind of what I try and do. Um, now we got another card seller here, which is refreshing, especially after some of the stuff I sorted this week, which um, you'll see those videos in a few days of a collection that I'm working with. But, yeah, I won't say a whole lot about that just yet. I don't want to spoil it. Probably be my the topic of my next episode, though. Let's see if we can get these out of here without having to undo all the tape right now. It's packaged well. All right. Sorry, I would have had all this done ahead of time. I know you don't want to watch people unwrapping things and... Um, not as good as like Jake Roy in 90s b-ball cards. He like speeds the video up and does all this cool stuff. I pretty much record on my phone and what happens, happens. Oh, sorry. Not my area of expertise. Okay, gonna need the scissors real quick. Cut the other one while I got it. And yes, I will reuse the bubble wrap. Like I said, I reuse everything. Got to. Oops. Almost lost. Okay. Oh, nice. That wasn't even in a top loader. I was talking about how professional things were. Um, so an Omri Caspi, or I'm sorry, not Omri Caspi. I saw the the um, uh, purple there. It's B Bano, 11 of 25. Former Spur, former several teams, obviously King. Oh, there's his top loader. Well, that's nice. That's why you put all this tape. You put some tape on the top. That doesn't happen, but whatever, not a big deal. Larry Johnson, Gamers, Reggie Miller, Gamers. Now, I believe they didn't have the rights to Reggie Miller stuff when they made this. At least that's what I've been told. That's the only Reggie jersey we had from Panini for a long time. There was a Prime version. That's a 101. Um, I've seen there's somebody on Instagram that owns it. I think it's Spinatron. But cool piece nonetheless. Ron Harper, Bradley Beal, which this would be a uh, 2012. So that's his rookie Card rookie year, at least. Um, Clear Vision. These are all the first quarter. Chris Boss, Jeff Teague, Larry Sanders. We've got an early, um, well, first year Immaculate, 2012. Seven out of 50 quad jersey. These guys, it seems kind of disconnected. Well, they all went to Duke, right? Batty A. Boozer, Dang and Hill. Very thick slab on this one, too. Cool card, though. Um, all right, Trey Burke, DeAndre Jordan, numbered card, Scola, 2 out of 10, close to jersey number, 2 out of 10, that's pretty nice. I think those were called platinum. I don't think it's actually, the 10s are not gold in gold standard. I think they're called platinum. Yeah, I don't know, figure that out. Udonis Haslam, here's the centerpiece. This is why I bought the lot, this Rashid Wallace patch. Doesn't have a lot of Nick stuff out there, and this is number to seven. This set was tough. 
Very tough. Great looking set. Jumbo patches. I love this era of Panini. Nerlens Noel. Got a metal like plate rookie. Raymond Felton jersey. Farid and Lawson jersey. McCollum rookie jersey. Glenn Rice Jr. rookie jersey. Kelly Olenek rookie patch number to 10. So there you go. Those are two lots. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, oh, sorry. I missed this Amari Stoudemire relic as well. Um, if you like more of that kind of stuff, let me know. I can try and do more of that on YouTube. I'll, I'll stop being lazy in the future. So uh, have a great day. Check out Wax Museum Podcast, new episodes every Thursday, and I will talk to you later.